This is Keith Helwig from Cops Corrections Videos. If you like my videos, please subscribe. Today I'd like to talk about the age-old controversy, is corrections law enforcement? I just returned from Washington, D.C., where it was police week. Now, if you ever get a chance to go to Washington, D.C., be sure to go down to Judicial Square and the Law Enforcement Memorial Wall to view the names of the over 22,000 law enforcement officers killed in this country. Now, one of the things you're going to notice on the Law Enforcement Memorial Wall are the names of correctional officers. Now, as someone who worked in corrections for 36 years, as someone who's been a, a police officer for 26 years, I guess I'd like to qualify my answer to is corrections law enforcement as an unmitigated yes. You know, if you go to the Judiciary Square and you view that wall, you're going to see the names of officers. You're going to see the names like Tom Beam. Tom Beam was a man I went to high school with. He was killed in the line of duty in Wisconsin, working for the Department of Corrections. You're also going to go across the street to the National Law Enforcement Museum. One of the things you're going to see there is an entire section devoted to nothing but corrections. Now, I know there's going to be people on departments, whether it's large departments, <clears throat> small departments, or whatever, mm -hmm. that are going to say, well, you know, they're nothing but guards. They, they just, you know, they're, they're overpaid babysitters, you know, blah, 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 blah. The majority of people that say this have absolutely no concept of what a correctional officer really does, of what the duties of a correctional officer are. You know, the authority that a correctional officer has inside of the prison walls often exceeds that that an officer has on the streets. If you're a correctional officer, you don't need probable cause to search an inmate's cell. You don't need probable cause to pat search an inmate. You don't need probable cause to do strip searches. These are all things that can be done simply out of necessity. If I'm working on the streets and somebody walks up to me and they say, Officer Helwig, you're a dirty low life MF. All I can do is say, have a good day. When I was in the prison system, if somebody walked up to me and they said, Captain Helwig, you're a dirty, filthy MF, my response was turn around and face the wall, and I would cuff them and stuff them and go to segregation. You don't have that authority as a police officer. You know, in prison, you have to have that authority so you can maintain control. Now, there's a distinct difference between prison and the outside. There's a distinct difference between the duties of a correctional officer and a police officer. However, both are considered as law enforcement. They're considered law enforcement by the National Law Enforcement Memorial, by the Law uh, Officer Down Memorial page, by the federal government. They aren't considered law enforcement by people who want to think they're above corrections, who want to think that corrections are low-life, knuckle-dragging thugs. You know what? There are some knuckle-dragging thugs in corrections, but you know what else? There are some knuckle-dragging thugs wearing police uniforms as well. Anytime you think you're above a correctional officer, place yourself in their position. If you're an officer in a lot of states, you're going to be locked in with anywhere up to 125 to 200 inmates, maybe you and one other officer for the duration of your shift. And when I say locked in, I mean locked in. You are on that unit. Now you can get help if there's a fight, it might take it a couple minutes to get there, but you're outnumbered 150 to one or 75 to one. And when you call for help, yeah, it's gonna come, but it's gonna take a while to get there. Because guess what? You're locked in, your help is locked out, so it takes them a while to get there. So if you're one of these police officers that looks down on corrections, maybe you re need to reconsider what you're looking down upon. Because in fact, you are looking down on your fellow brother and sister law enforcement officers. Until next time, this is Keith Helwig. Stay safe and watch your back.